amazing how many people have wealth in this country. Trillions of dollars of deficit in this country. The average amount of debt is about $9,000. If you look at the overall debt, including mortgages and cars, it's uh, somewhere around $14,000. It's a point where you live check, check by check, week by week, and that's no way to live. I'm gonna give you a taste of who's calling you, and now I'm gonna show you what it's like down here in beautiful Florida and beautiful St. Petersburg Beach, where we eliminate debt every day. program's unique. We've got an accelerated debt reduction program, as we call it. Unlike debt consolidation or debt settlement, our program works with people that are current that pay their bills. We go in and negotiate interest rates on their behalf. There's only one way out of debt, folks, and that's apply to principal. All right, then we'll call you back, because once you get it, you'll probably use it, run up some credit card debt, and you'll be ready for us, right? Oh, Cameron, all right, you're not going to try to run up any debt, but why do people get credit cards? You develop a rapport with them, so they'll feel bad for hanging up on you. So when you go to transfer them into verification, that's when they hang up just because they're so scared. Well, ma'am, I'm sure that you get a lot of telemarketing calls, ma'am. If you just give me a few minutes of your time. Well, ma'am, you do take care of Mr. Ferguson and have a beautiful day, okay? Right, we're here to get you out of debt, ma'am. We're not here to watch you accumulate debt. We're here to get you out of debt. And that, <laughs> you're welcome. That's what we're here for. Do you have any other questions for me before I get you verified online? You guys know at the end of January and February and March and April, it gets very busy because everybody's getting all their bills in. They don't know what to do. They're panicking because they can't get the bills paid, and we can we can help them. But we might as well stick it in the air a little bit. You guys stay busy this afternoon. I'm going to get some more leads this afternoon, and we'll keep this thing out. going. We have uh, $1,000 for the top closer and $1,000 for the top fronter. And whoever has the most sales for the month wins. I got Ellen. For the closers, we have Nicole Jewell with 81. Okay. So far. We have Stephanie Johnson with 71. Good job, so she's 10 behind. But Nicole called out today. She's sick. So she's only behind. 9 behind, so now she's rallied again. <laughs> Watch us work. <laughs> I am on the warpath. Warpath ain't the word. Get me debt. I got my miracle, now I just gotta bust out. So we expected Stephanie to get the win. I mean, she, she had it in the bag, but you know, like Nicole, through the sickness and the pregnancy and all, she wanted that money. That money drove us. I'm pregnant, but I'm still quick. Stephanie, when she seen Nicole walk in, her face just dropped completely and she knew the war was on. Deliver me a deal and you got the cash. I passed her by one, she came back and she got me. Okay, hold the line for me, honey, okay? I came in in the last hour and I wrote five deals and beat her. A thousand dollars is a thousand dollars. But the look on Stephanie's face, priceless. Great day at Financial Freedom Resources. This is Sarah, how can I direct your call?
Oh, look at her neck. That's what you call love. That's not love. Yes, it was. No, uh I can honestly tell you, yes, it was. You've got to come up with a solution because you're going to lose all the accounts. You know, if this keeps going, we'll just lose all the accounts and we're out of business. You know, I don't need you to check and make sure I'm doing the right thing. I always do the right thing. So I want you to know your check's in the mail, and I'm glad to give you $92.25, and I hope you have a good life. Good. We live here at this sucky ass place and we all work at FFR, Financial Freedom Resources. Now we're moving to a different place because of a good friend that helped us out and his, and his name is Tom Grant. This was the baby's room and uh, they, were, they were sleeping in here until, until we saw start seeing this. It started rusting up and then the mold, they started getting really moldy down there. Right here it's just nothing but trouble. This neighborhood is trouble. I don't like it. Where we're at now I love it. This is the new place. A hundred times better than what we had before. You get to see the smile on our faces knowing that we do like it and we really appreciate what Tom helping us out. Well, now we have to do something for Tom and make him or thank him for doing this for us. Billy doesn't know it yet, but I'm giving him a boat for Christmas. It's in my driveway right now. Shh, don't tell him. I can't wait to give it to him. I didn't say that. No, I didn't. All I said was the word hitch king. That was it. I was just asking what time you were going to be there. That was it. I didn't say nothing about the boat whatsoever. All right. I was thinking, like, I'm going to take him out back and act like somebody stole a check or something and get him out back. Say, I want to talk to you outside. Somebody stole a check. I don't want to talk in here. And I'll get him outside. And then you can pull around from, be from behind the mini mall and just drive right up to us. Billy's a sweetheart of a guy. He's got a big heart. For Christmas, I'm giving him this boat. I don't want to, want to talk, talk about, about it in here. Let's go. What? I OK. How much is it for? How much? Hey, 1200 bucks. Stole the check. Oh, a bank? Yeah. Another bank? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Bill. Uh, you <laughs> Look at me, man. I'm all uh, <laughs> oh. You take your kids fishing and take them, take them boating, man. You're welcome. Come on over. Check it out. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Runs like a top. This thing does like 60 miles an hour, too. Yeah, but you'll love it, man. You'll love it. Yeah, Bato. This guy said he's been sleeping with your beautiful wife for the past two weeks. And I said, well, I hope he's got his red wings because she's been on the rag for the past oh, week. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Some of that kid, because I wasn't. <laughs> All right, guys, listen up. Here's the rules. You're going to start at the far end of the parking lot, and you're going to end it at the fire hydrant. I'm going to drop this doggy toy. When it hits the ground, you're gonna gun it. May the best man win. Yeah. And don't run me over. Yeah! That's what everybody's <laughs> waiting for. <laughs>